Almost every religion believes that the world would be a better place if every person on the planet would be its follower. Judaism is unique because it was given to a small group of people, the Jews, and designated only for them. Torah says that while mitzvahs are necessary for the spiritual life of every Jew, a non-Jew is not becoming closer to God by keeping Shabbos or kosher. Non-Jews can and should have their own path of serving God, and when doing so, they can become what Torah says, righteous Gentiles. Torah also says that if a non-Jew wants to become a part of the Jewish nation, he can do that. Well, how does that work, one may ask? To answer this question, we need to first understand why the people who are calling themselves Jews today are Jewish. We all know that someone whose mother is Jewish is considered to be a Jew. But when did it all start? As we are going generations back, at some point, someone whose mother was not Jewish had to become a Jew for the Jewish nation to begin. Yes, and this point was at Mount Sinai. As a matter of fact, the full definition of a biological Jew is someone whose maternal lineage goes back to those who were present at the giving of a Torah at Mount Sinai, because at Mount Sinai we became a nation. How did that happen? All those present at Mount Sinai accepted one God. They learned the 613 commandments the way they were explained by Moses. They committed themselves to keeping every single one of them and started living their lives according to those commandments. That made them Jewish. Once someone is Jewish, there's no way back. He is Jewish forever. If a lady is born to a Jewish mother, her children will always be Jewish. It doesn't matter what they do or in what they believe. This is why all those who are calling themselves Jewish today, even if they don't observe any Jewish ri rituals, can call themselves Jewish only because their ancestors on mother's side were keeping mitzvahs once. So if someone wants to become a Jew today, what does he do? Exactly the same thing that our ancestors did in order to become Jewish at Mount Sinai. Accept one God, learn all the commandments the way they were explained by Moses, commit to keeping every single one of them, and then live his or her life according to those 613 commandments. And just like those present at Mount Sinai became 100% Jewish after going through these steps, this convert will be 100% Jewish after doing so.